Hey everybody, quick video and update here from Beijing. I just arrived in China again, like I said in my last video, I'm going to attend the Beijing Auto Show next week. And by the way, I've got news. Um, I got accredited as media, which is quite nice to see because I'm just a YouTuber and here on a business visa. And usually they are quite strict in China, whether or not you actually get access as a media journalist and so on. They let me in on the media days as well. That means I can start from the very first day to attend the auto show and give you guys some insights as well but this video is about something else it's about neo and what they presented today they have a couple of live streams and um, by the way this is Beijing right now so you can see the Guomau tower in the background and here the busy ring streets always a little bit of traffic here I'm not sure if I'm gonna see a neo on here right now um, well back to the video um, this is about what Shen Fei, who is actually um, the VP for Neo Power, said um, on his uh, WeChat moments right now. So that's kind of the Facebook of, of China, if you will. So it's a kind of a private social network and I'm connected to him. And he um, posted this um, commenting on one of the videos that um, Neo just published. They done, uh, just done a live stream. So if I open it here again, you see the video. It is about a um, automated battery swap uh, that is happening fully automatic while the user is actually um, going elsewhere for grabbing uh, a, cup of, uh, a, a cup of coffee in the mall. And so therefore there is no need for the user to be attending, um, just getting out um, and going into the mall um, getting a drink uh, or any other use case what you would do in your um, free time and um, the car performing the swap so well that itself isn't new um, I think I've posted something like this before um, in the channel on the channel on my Twitter on the Patreon community and so on uh, we all know that Neo can do this fully automated swapping right um, but what is new this time here is what Shen Fei actually commented around this in the, uh, on his WeChat timeline, and I'll give you the translation. Wait, I've just opened it here. Um, that's the automatic translation here. This video accidentally posts the profitability of the power swap station in the next stage. In the middle of the night, cars can come one after another to swap batteries. Wouldn't the operational efficiency of the power swap station be doubled? Xiao Qing's team knocked on the code and made money of the, um, at the power swap station. So who is he referring to? Ren Xiaoqing is the head of autonomous driving. And as I mentioned, Neo is doing some live streams today. So it's all about this um, autonomous driving uh, capabilities that Neo has. Um, I think in one hour, uh, Li Bin is actually going here in Beijing on a live stream uh, in this Beijing traffic that I just mentioned. Uh, we'll be driving um, fully autonomously with the NEO, uh, the NAD type of um, software release with the NEO um, NOP Plus that has been more or less um, exclusive for beta testers so far. I think they're planning to rolling it out big time. Uh, we will see more of those details, I think, today on various social medias. I haven't checked it myself yet. What will be the details of that? And uh, what is for sure is that Li Bin will be demonstrating that he can drive autonomously in Beijing traffic during that time, not staged, but really live. Uh, so this uh, autonomous swap was just one part of it. Uh, but um, I think that they will do some complicated moves and stuff like um, three point um, um, diversions and stuff like that. I'm not sure about that. We'll see and possibly cover it here on the channel as well. But again, the big news here, in my point of view, is about the profitability and monetization of battery swapping here confirmed by um, Shen Fei in his opinion the topic that you can run those autonomous swaps will help to increase the efficiency of swaps basically it stretches out um, you know during which times you can actually perform a swap um, obviously here in China most of the swap stations run 24 7 uh, but uh, who goes at night to swap right but the cars could do that on it on their own in the future and therefore it doesn't really matter where the user is and what they are doing at the site uh, it just doesn't depend on the user anymore and in the in and in economic terms obviously that would have here the um, 
the result that um, the efficiency is, he says, doubling. Well, who knows what's the exact number going to be, but definitely it's going to uh, enable more use cases and many more swap times and therefore increases the utilization rate of swap stations. And well, I think I've mentioned it before here on the channel that I think this year could be the year in which we will see a switch in narratives among investors, which have always claimed Neo battery swapping is an issue because of the invest that is necessary for building, excuse me, the swap stations. However, as soon as they start monetizing it more during these, uh, due to these revenue streams, number one, uh, due to uh, the partnerships which they've laid out with the uh, next platform, which will build um, battery swappable cars by um, other companies, um, but based on Neo's platform and they can utilizing it, they will start building the helping uh, taking the, the burden and the cost of building out those new um, swap stations that are multi-brand. Um, that's one. Then charging Neo users, the existing users, charging future Neo users for swaps, and then things like that, um, bringing up the utilization. And also, of course, we always need to mention that um, grid balancing and the possibilities for vehicle to grid technologies, which is, in my opinion, uh, more uh, likely to be successful if the battery is not owned by the user, but actually a part of this ecosystem like battery swapping, how it is with, uh, with NIO here in China. And by the way, also in Europe, where it makes a lot of sense because we've got so much renewables that our um, electricity rates are fluctuating quite much. So that, that is um, where you'd see the ideal energy arbitrage trading opportunities. So many ways of monetizing battery swapping and good to see it confirmed by a high level up manager at NIO that they are thinking about this, literally talking about um, flying money <laughs> and making money. Um, so yeah, I thought that's good to see and share. Um, that was a quick spontaneous update here from China, just arrived. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks for watching.